In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to buy an NFT. As usual, if you enjoy this content, make sure that you smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, nothing in this video is financial advice. Always do your own research and understand that the NFT market is incredibly risky. The steps that we're going to run through today are how to set up a MetaMask wallet to use to buy an NFT, how to actually add funds to that wallet, how to mint an NFT, in other words, how to buy an NFT on the primary market, and how to buy an NFT from a marketplace like OpenSea. In other words, how to buy an NFT on the secondary market. Now, before we get started, I know that getting into the crypto and NFT space can seem overwhelming, it can seem challenging, but I want to assure you that with a little bit of experience, you'll be able to maneuver fluidly in the space and accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish. And after some time, you won't even think it's that challenging at all. So on to our first step creating a MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet that is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, only second to Bitcoin. Ethereum is also the most widely used blockchain and cryptocurrency for NFTs, so for the purposes of this video, we'll stick with Ethereum. Your MetaMask wallet is what you're going to use to buy NFTs, but it's also how you'll custody them once you've actually bought. So to start, let's open metamask.io in our browser. MetaMask will work in either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. So here we are. Let's click on download on the top right to actually download the MetaMask browser extension. I'll go here and click on install MetaMask for Firefox. It will bring me to this Firefox browser add-ons page. I'll click this button here to add to Firefox. And what that'll do is it'll actually prompt me to install the MetaMask extension. So we wanna click add right there. And then you can see right here on the top right that the little fox there, that is the MetaMask extension in our browser. And when I click on that, it opens up a page here which says welcome to MetaMask and this is how we're going to get started setting up our wallet. So when I click on get started, it will ask me if I'm new to MetaMask and whether I already have a secret recovery phrase. We will dive into that. That is a very important security function. So I click on create a wallet. Right here is a prompt on whether we will allow MetaMask to gather data. I will just say no thanks to move on quickly. So here uh, they are asking us to create a password. As you can imagine, you want to use as secure of a password as you can. This MetaMask wallet is going to hold potentially valuable NFTs and of course is going to hold funds in the form of Ethereum cryptocurrency. So you want to treat this MetaMask wallet similar to how you treat a bank account or similarly valuable account. So when I type in a password, let's just throw one in there. I check the box that I've read and agree to the terms of use and I hit create. It brings me to the next page with a video that is focused on securing your wallet. This video explains what a secret recovery phrase is, also known as a seed phrase. A seed phrase is a string of words that acts as your security tool to be the ultimate backup for your MetaMask wallet. This is really something that you want to write down on a physical piece of paper and put in a safe place, and you should never, ever share it with anybody. So now I will click next because I understand the importance of a seed phrase. And here is the page where I can actually see what my secret recovery phrase or seed phrase is. So if I click on this right here, it will reveal the secret words and those secret words will ultimately function as you know the backup for my account. I'm not going to do it here on stream. You can do it yourself when you're setting up your wallet. Make sure that you have a pen and paper handy. Write down the words exactly as they're written in the exact order because the sequence, you know, the order of the words absolutely does matter. And that'll be your backup. Keep it in a safe place. Don't write it down digitally. Don't email it to yourself or to anybody else. Don't share it with anyone, even if they ask you to. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to hit remind me later. If I did click on this lock, it would reveal the secret phrase and it would take me to a screen that looks like this that is prompting me to actually input the phrase in order. This is so that MetaMask can confirm that I've written down the phrase properly and have a valid backup. So I click remind me later 
And here we are. This is our MetaMask account right here. If I click there, I will copy the account address to Clipboard. We're going to need that in a bit when we actually buy cryptocurrency on an exchange and send the cryptocurrency to the MetaMask wallet, but more into that later. The basic functionality is pretty straightforward. The functions that you'll realistically use the most are either send or monitoring the assets in the wallet or the activity, we don't have either right now. Now that we've done the first step and we've set up our MetaMask wallet, we're going to move on to the second step, which is buying Ethereum on a cryptocurrency exchange. In other words, buying the funds that we're going to use to buy our NFT. So here I've loaded up Coinbase, which is one of the most popular cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States. There are other exchanges that you can use too, such as Gemini and a few others. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use Coinbase as it's the most widely used exchange and just show you how easy it is to use an exchange like this to buy cryptocurrency and then to send that cryptocurrency from the exchange to your MetaMask wallet so that you can use it to buy NFTs. So if I go to this home page of Coinbase and I look at the top right, it has buy and sell, and then next to it is send and receive. We're going to use both of those in this video. Let's start with buy and sell. So I click on buy, I wait for it to load. Here we have our prompt where we can select what cryptocurrency we'd like to buy. The default is Bitcoin. For what we're looking to do, we're going to want Ethereum. So I click on Ethereum. I select my payment method, which is my bank account, and I'm going to choose $500 worth of Ethereum for this video. When I click on preview buy, it will take me here to this confirmation page, the order preview, and it tells me how much Ethereum I'm getting in exchange for my $500 and also the fee. One little note on fees, on the default platforms, Coinbase and Gemini, the fees are considerably higher. If you use their programs, Coinbase Pro and Gemini Active Trader, which are free to use but offer lower fees. More on that in another video that we put out on this channel, again, for the purposes of this video, I'll just stick with the main Coinbase platform. So looking at this confirmation, I'm good to go here. I'm going to click on buy now. Here we go. And there you go. The transaction went through and my Ethereum was successfully purchased. Now it's time to take that Ethereum that we just bought and actually send it to our MetaMask wallet. So if I look at the main page again and I go to the top right and click on send slash receive, the send and receive prompt will pull up. I will copy that address that we talked about before in the MetaMask wallet and paste it here in this to section. So let's do that now. Here we go, copied it in there. Ethereum is the selected cryptocurrency, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit send all. I'm going to hit continue. Here's the confirmation page, looks good to me. I will now hit send now. I'm prompted to enter a two-factor authentication code. When you set up an account on these cryptocurrency exchanges, they ask you to enter two-factor authentication through platforms like Authy or Google Authenticator. So I'll do that now. And okay, my Ethereum is now being sent to my MetaMask wallet. It'll take a few minutes for this to complete because it's being confirmed on the Ethereum blockchain. But after a few minutes, the transaction will go through and voila, our Ethereum is in our MetaMask wallet and it's ready to be used to buy an NFT. All right, so now that we've set up our MetaMask wallet and we've funded it with Ethereum that we bought on a cryptocurrency exchange, it's time to learn how to buy an NFT. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's two ways that you can buy an NFT on the primary market or on the secondary market. On the primary market, you're actually buying the NFT directly from the NFT creator and you are minting it, meaning that you are actually creating the entry on the blockchain. When you buy an NFT on the secondary market, you're buying it from a person that either bought it on the primary market themselves or bought it from someone else on the secondary. And you do this on a marketplace like an OpenSea or similar platform. So first I'll show you an example of actually minting an NFT, meaning buying an NFT on the primary market directly from its creator. The way that you do this is you go to the project's website. There's typically a page to mint the NFT, and on that page, you have to actually connect your MetaMask wallet. 
Many times when you first get to the website and you go to the Mint page, you'll be automatically prompted to actually connect your wallet to the platform. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that security in this situation is essential. You do not want to connect your wallet to a site that you don't trust. So make sure that you've done your due diligence and you've done your research on a project before you connect your wallet to the website. So when I load this website, I see a MetaMask pop up like this. I will go ahead and click next. I'm then presented with a confirmation page. I'll hit connect. There we go. All right, and now my wallet is connected to the platform. I have the option to mint one, to mint two, or mint three. In this case, I'm going to just mint one. And so you see the big red mint button. I will click there. What happens is we'll get another MetaMask pop up. Here it is. I'm going to click confirm. And now the NFT is starting to mint. One of the settings you may have noticed there is the gas fee setting. For the sake of this video, we're only going to talk about standard gas fees. We'll do a separate video all about gas fees so you can understand the differences, when to use fast gas, when it's not necessary, and so on. So that's it. That's how you mint an NFT directly from a website. To recap, it's just going to the website itself and navigating to the mint page, connecting your MetaMask wallet as long as you trust the website, and finally deciding how many of the NFT that you'd like to mint and simply clicking the mint button and confirming the transaction. You can now go to marketplaces like OpenSea.com and connect your wallet to OpenSea so that you can display the NFT on your profile. Speaking of OpenSea.com, let's look now at how to actually buy an NFT on the secondary market, meaning from somebody else that is selling it on a marketplace like OpenSea. So now I've loaded up OpenSea.com and I quickly searched for the name of the project that I'd like to buy. Here I have the project pulled up. I have my wallet connected exactly in the same way that we did in the previous step when we were buying on the primary market and I'm ready to buy on the secondary. So I'll click on the NFT that I want I see it pulled up right here. I'll click buy now. I'll get this confirmation page right here. I'll click confirm. I'll get a similar pop-up to the one that I got before from MetaMask asking me to confirm the transaction. Once that's confirmed, you'll see this pop-up that tells you that your purchase is processing. And we're just gonna wait for a second for the purchase to actually confirm. And voila, our purchase is processed and we now own the NFT. To show that we bought the NFT, we can actually go over here to the top right, click on our own profile, and there you go. You can see the NFTs that you've bought right here. And this is also how you'll display NFTs to be able to post them on a profile and show them to other people. So that was pretty much it. In this video, we went over how to set up a MetaMask wallet, how to buy Ethereum on a cryptocurrency exchange and send that Ethereum to the MetaMask wallet so that you have funds to buy an NFT, how to connect your wallet to the minting page of an NFT website so that you can actually buy an NFT on the primary market, and how to connect your wallet to an NFT marketplace like OpenSea so that you can buy an NFT on the secondary market. In other videos, we'll go deeper into more advanced concepts like using fast gas for transactions, setting up different wallets on different blockchains, and other advanced NFT strategies. But this video is meant to give you those step-by-step -step instructions on how to mint your first NFT. We hope that you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure that you hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. And as always, do your own research, invest at your own risk, and have fun participating in the NFT space. Catch you guys next time.